Hello students. In this lecture, let us learn about the crossing number of a graph. Definition. The crossing number of a graph G is the smallest possible number of crossings that take place whenever the graph G is drawn in the plane. The crossing number is represented by CR of G. So, in order to learn about crossing number, first we should know what is a planar graph and a non-planar graph. So, for example, a planar graph is the one in which the edges meet only at the point of the vertices. So, wherever we have vertices, there alone the edges meet. So, this is a planar graph. A non-planar graph is the one where the edges can also meet at a point which is not a vertex. So, now if we see here, we have only four vertices. But the edge V3, V2 and V1, V4 intersect at a point which is not a vertex. So, this is a non-planar graph. So, this example is an example of a planar graph and this is an example of a non-planar graph. Now, let us learn about crossing number. The crossing number of a planar graph is always equal to 0 because the, the number of crossings in a planar graph is obviously 0. So, if we see here, there are no crossings of the edges. So, the crossing number of a planar graph is always equal to 0. Now, we shall find the crossing number of this non-planar graph. Generally, when we see, there is one crossing for this graph. Now, what we have to do is, we have to draw this graph in the plane in such a way that we can reduce the number of crossings or we can bring it to zero number of crossings. I'll just show you that one here. Now, we have four vertices, V1, V2, V3 and V4. So, this is V1, this is V2, this is V3 and this is V4. Now, we shall draw the edges of this graph. So, there is an edge between V1, V3, V1, V2, V1, I mean V2, V4, V3, V4 and there is an edge between V1 and V4. So, till here it is not an issue but if we draw a draw an edge between V3 and V2 in this manner, we will have a crossing here. But we can draw the same edge in a different manner so that there is no crossing. Now, if we see here, the crossing number of this graph is 0. And this graph is a graph which is isomorphic to the given graph. And so, therefore, the crossing number of this graph is equal to 0. Now, we shall consider another example. Now, this graph, if we see, there are so many crossings. For example, the edge V3 and V5 cross here, V3 and V6 cross here, and V2 and V4 also. Uh, so, there are a numerous number of crossings, like here, so here and here. So, there are three crossings. So, we will try to reduce the number of crossings. So, how we can draw this graph is, so first we will draw the outer lines that is, so V2, V6 and then V3, V4. So, now what we can do, we can draw this edge which is between V2 and V4 and then there is a vertex V1 here, so we can join that. So, so far there are no crossings and now we could see that this vertex V5 can also be drawn here. So, it is V5, so so far no crossings. Now, what are the edges left out? We have an edge between V3 and V6, V3 and V5. So, how we can draw that is, we can 
draw an edge V3 to V5 here and then another edge from V3 to V6 in order to avoid the crossings. So now if we check all the edges are there for example V1 to V2, V1, V6 and then V2 to V4, V2, V3, V6, V4 and this edge V3 to V5 comes here in this manner and the edge V3 to V6 comes in this way so that there are no crossings. So we have drawn this graph in a plane in such a way that the number of crossings have become zero for this particular graph. So therefore the number of crossings for this graph is zero. Next we shall consider the example of a complete graph with five vertices that is K5. So what is a complete graph? A complete graph is the one in which every pair of vertices will have an edge between them. For example, if you see V1 has an edge between, there is an edge from V1 to V2, V3, V4 and V5 as well. So like that, if we consider any pair of edges, there, I mean any pair of vertices, there will be an edge between those vertices. Now we shall find the crossing number of this graph K5. So in order to find that, we have to draw this graph in the plane in such a way that we can reduce the number of crossings. So now I am drawing here the outer cycle that is V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. Now I am going to draw the edge from V1 to V3, V1 to V4. Okay, now if we see V1 has edges between all the vertices. Now from V2 we have till V3. So what we can do is from V2 we can draw an edge to V4 like this. Okay and then from V2 to V5 we can draw an edge in this manner so that we can reduce the number of crossings. Now from V3 we already have an edge with V1 v2 v4 now we have to draw an edge to v5 so if we see if we go like this there will be one crossing with this edge so in any manner if we go there will be if we go in this way for example so again there will be a crossing of an of the these two edges so anyhow with no other go we have to draw with one crossing so we can draw it in this manner so now if we see there are edges between all the vertices uh, like for example v1 to v2 v3 v4 v5 v2 to v1 v3 and then v4 v5 so from v3 to v1 v2 v4 and v5 v4 to v1 v2 v3 and v5 and v5 to v1 v2 v3 v4 so there so we can draw this k5 with one number of crossing that is which is here so therefore the crossing number of k5 is equal to 1 Now we shall learn about a new example K33 which is a complete bipartite graph with three vertices in each partite sets. Okay, now this is a non-planar graph with so much of crossings in it. Now we have to redraw this into a plane so that we can reduce the number of crossings. Now let us try that. So there are totally six vertices with three vertices in one set. So that is V1 v2 and v3 and the other set has three vertices which is v4 v5 and v6 now if we see from v1 we will have three edges like this that is to v4 v5 v6 
and then from V2 we will have an edge to V4 but if we draw it in this manner there will be two crossings so in order to avoid it we can bring that in this way so we can reach V4 from V2 in this manner in order to avoid this crossing now from V2 to V5 we have to take this way but if we do so there will be one crossing again so in order to avoid it we can bring it in this manner to V5 okay now V6 we can easily draw in this way so that there are no crossings now from V3 to V6 we can easily draw a line without crossing but to V5 if we take this route there will be two crossings so in order to avoid it we can take it in, in this manner now from V3 to V4 if we take from this way there will be too many crossings so in order to avoid that we can bring it in this way but when we come like that we, we, we have to make one crossing over here to reach this point so definitely there will be one crossing anyhow while redrawing this graph into a plane so therefore the crossing number of this k 3 3 is equal to 1 we shall now see one more last example of this lecture so now then this graph we have so many crossings here now we have redrawn this graph into this plane in order to avoid too many crossings but maximum what I could draw is with a crossing number of 3. So if you see the grass cross, uh, the graph crosses here, here and here. So the minimum number of crossings is equal to 3. Now if you are able to draw with a crossing lesser than 3, please mention it in the comment box. So this is the original graph with too many crossings. So I have tried drawing it by reducing it with three crossings. So your homework will be to draw. If you are able to draw with a crossing lesser than three, mention it in the chat box. Okay. Hope to see the comment of the crossing number that you get for this graph. Hope you all have understood the concept of crossing number in graph theory. In our next video, we shall learn the crossing number of the Peterson graph. Thank you.